afternoon dear children now we will continue our the same lesson from english and book moment a uh, house is not at home a house is not at home this lesson written by azam gaudio gaudio sim gaudio sim okay so in the last lecture we have seen summary of this lesson now today we will see paragraph wise detail explanation of this lesson so let get start a house is not a home the story reflects the challenges of being a teenager and the problem of growing up how does the author overcome his problems teenager as i said the teenager means only author the narrator and this is a writer okay and the character the pet cat and stranger in the last lecture we have seen very detail about this now directly we will start uh, the lesson my the narrator only is narrating his own story my first year of high school felt awkward awkward means inconvenient you know uh, not convenient that is called awkward when we go somewhere we feel very awkward means we feel something lonely and the awkwardness inconvenient we are not feeling convenient that is called awkward after leaving junior high high at the head of my class with all the seniority the upper grade levels could afford me it felt strange starting over you know stay starting over at a <coughs> as a freshman the school was twice as big as my old school and to make matters worse my closest friends were sent to a different high school i felt very isolated freshman means what what is freshman freshman a student in the first year of college freshers that we call freshers so after that particular level in the teenage only so all of the children they have shifted from that old school to other so his all friend circles went in different different colleges and he has come in the new uh, college there and that college building was double uh, bigger than that old school but he was feeling he feels very awkward there inconvenient as his old teachers and friend circles are not there i missed my old teacher so much that i would back i would go back and visit them they would encourage me to get involved in school activities so that i could meet new people they told me that in the time i would adjust and probably end up loving my new school more than i had my old one they made me promise that even when that happened i would still come by and visit them from time to time i understood the psychology in what they were saying but i took some comfort in it nonetheless nonetheless despite of the fact he he has taken admission here and he revisits always in the old school and the teacher the teacher said that okay now it is a new so you will feel Uh, you will miss us but after few days you will not miss us you will get the new company there a new teacher they will also behave like us how we were behaving with you but he he thought that ki why they want him to adjust there so they are saying me like way but here was no uh, option was there to adjust himself in the new school one sunday afternoon not long after i had started high school i was sitting at home at our dining room table doing my homework 
It was a cold and windy fall day and we had a fire going in our fireplace. You know dear children, every, miss, you know that here uh, we, have, we don't have that much cold. According to the environment we keep in the Kashmir side in our India, if I talk about India, if you go to Kashmir side, there you will not get, see any coolers there you will get the fireplace you know the fire they always keep their fire there and they keep themselves warm in the same way in the european countries also they the climate is almost cold so they are keeping the fire place the hot place that is called the hotter you know the ac the cooler like this hotter the hot place so at home our dining room table doing homework it was a cold and windy fall day and we had a fire going in our fireplace as usual my red tabby cat was lying on top of all my papers purring loudly and occasionally sweating sweating you know the heating sweating means heating with the, is uh, it's uh, uh, tail and all the sweating at my pen for entertainment's sake okay the uh, teenager has a small pet cat she was never far from me i had rescued her when she was a kitten when she was a kitten that time i think something happened so he the teenager rescued him and from that day that pet cat red color cat was with him only and somehow she knew that i was the one responsible for giving her the good life my mother kept stoking, stoking the fire to keep stoking, keeping that fire house nice and warm. Suddenly I smelled something strange and then I noticed it, smoke pouring in through the seam of the ceiling. That from ceiling that smoke was coming. The smoke began to fill the room so quickly that we could barely see that, we could barely see that, we could see that it is uh, going, the fire is there somewhere in the ceiling groping groping to search with hands in dark groping something groping our way to the front door that much that filled with smoke and they were groping means finding the way to go to uh, outside okay no? to front door we all ran out into the front yard yard means in the uh, ground on, on uh, in the on the ground by the time we made our way outside, the whole roof was engulfed. What is mean by engulfed? Engulfed means to flow over and to flow over to everywhere. Engulfed means spread all over and enclose that. Okay. And engulf. A neighbors uh, spreading quickly. Engulfed in flames and it was spreading quickly. I ran to the neighbors to call the fire department. While I watched my mother run back into the house, he saw that. My mother then ran out of the house carrying a small metal box full of important documents. She dropped the case on the lawn and in crazed state, in a very hurriedly state, ran back, ran back into the house. Again she went their back house. I knew what she was after. My father had died when I was young and I was certain that she was not going to let his pictures and letters go up in flames. When he was young that time his father was no more. So all the pictures and the documents and the whatever, only the memory that much was left. She went inside to collect that she don't want to uh, destroy, means uh, ruin those things in the uh, fire. So she went inside. They were the only things that she had to remember him by. Still I screamed at her, mom, no. 
don't go inside i was about to run after her and when i felt a large hand uh, felt a large hand hold me back somebody pulled me back actually i was back to her but somebody large hand pulled me back and it was a fireman that fire extinguisher people they had come i hadn't even noticed that the street had already filled with fire trucks i was trying to free myself from his grasp yelling you don't understand my mother is there my mother mother's in there he held on to me and while other firefighters ran into the house he knew that i wasn't acting very logically and that if he were he were to let go i would run he was right he wanted to go but the fire extinguisher people they didn't allow him to go inside it's all right they will get her he said the man who pulled him back the others the other people they went inside and they they assured him you don't worry they will go inside and they will uh, bring your mother out don't worry about he wrapped a blanket around me and sat me down in a car why you know whenever the fire caught we always uh, cover with blanket that is always safe so they covered soon after that a fireman emerged emerge what is meant by emerged emerged came out okay the fireman came out emerged from our house with my mom in to in my mom to accompany someone so they lifted her and they brought her out he quickly took her over to the truck and put an oxygen mask on her because of that you know when she was inside smoke was there she she fainted and this fire extinguisher people they put her on her neck the oxygen mask to take oxygen properly i ran over and hugged her all those times i ever argued with her and hated her vanished at the thought of losing her see the real value when we come to know the real value when we think that no they will not be there with us that time we understand so dear children you give your give value to value of your parents your elder ones and dear and near ones she is going to be okay said the fireman she just inhaled a little smoke and then he ran back to fight the fire while my mother and i sat there dazed dazed means someone unable to think or uh, react properly out of a almost completely burn days i remember watching my house burn down and thinking that there was nothing i could do about it five hours later the fire was finally out our, our house was almost completely burned down but then it struck me i hadn't seen my cat then he realized few minutes before he was very busy in her mother then he realized where is my cat i am not getting that cat where was my cat much to my horror i realized that she was nowhere to be found then all at once it hit me the new the new school the fire my cat i broke down in tears he realized that no house no school no bag new school no house my cat is also not there he completely vanished destroyed i broke down in tears and cried and cried i was suffering loss big time this is the as i said in the summary problem comes in our life there that those problems we have to face very boldly these challenges comes in our life like this teenager boy this narrator this author face this challenge and he overcome 
that in our life also challenges you might have experienced if not may challenges many challenges are there in our future there you have to face boldly and overcome it okay the fireman wouldn't let us go back into the house that night it was still too dangerous dead or alive i couldn't imagine leaving without knowing about my cat regardless i had to go we piled into the car with just the clothes on our bags bags and a few of the firemen's blankets and made our way to my grandparents house to spend the night so whatever how in that which situation they have come out in that situation with the fire extinguisher people's blanket and all they went to their grandparents house the next day monday i went to school when the fire broke out i was still wearing the dress i had worn to church that morning but i had no shoes as this see every sunday the european countries people most of the people they are christian people so every sunday they go morning early in the morning to church to pray god okay so the story is written there only so he said the, the that day the when their uh, house got pa, fa, got in fire that time that day was a sunday so morning he went to church and came back and he, he had doing he was doing his homework that time only this all these things happened so that church was there but he went on that church only but there was no shoes I had kicked them off when I was doing my homework. He was there, but he was there. The you know all the children. They kicked, and it was there only. They become yet another casualty on the fire. So I had to borrow some tennis shoes from my aunt. Why couldn't I just stay home from school? My mother wouldn't hear of it. But I was totally embarrassed by everything. The clothes I was wearing looked weird. you know i had no books or homework and my back pack was gone i had my life in that backpack the more i tried to fit in life in the worse it got i i was destined to be an outcast and a geek all my life that's what it felt like i didn't want to grow up change or change or have to handle life if it was going to be this way i just wanted curl up and die all this situation he has to wear because in school shoes was not there so he has to wear the tennis and everything was not good so he was feeling that no i don't want to leave i want to die and i want to curl up and die i want to curl up and die i don't want to remain like i walked around school like a zombie zombie everybody knows very awkward position when they walk when they they wear that so my situation my attire was like that only so in the school whole day i was walking roaming like a zombie uh, everything felt uh, surreal surreal i wasn't sure what was going to happen all the security and i had known from my old school my friends my house my cat and my ripped and my ripped they ripped me torn ripped me torn destroyed ripped away everything ripped away okay when i walk through what used to be my house after school that day i was shocked to see how much damage there was whatever hadn't burned was destroyed by the water and chemicals they had used to put out 
the fire the things which were not burned by fire but the people these people extinguisher people used the chemicals and oil with that by that everything was destroyed by waters and chemical the only material things was not destroyed were the photo album documents and some other personal items that my mother had managed to heroically she was like a hero she rescued all but my cat was gone and my heart ached for her my heart was paining feeling intense sadness aching feeling sadness because of my cat i couldn't found my uh, cat because there was the the there was no time to grieve my mother rush me out of the house we would have to find a place to live because they were living the grandparents house so they have to search the new house and i would have to go buy some clothes for buy i go buy some clothes for school okay so he has to purchase few dresses for new school for school to go to school we had to borrow money from my grandparents because there were no credit cards cash or even any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank all this that was a house that was a home but now when it caught in fire that was not a home for small small things they their condition were very pathetic they were dependent on others dependent on uh, grandparents on that situation situation also this teenager did not uh, like bank everything had gone up in smoke that week the rubble that used to be a house was being cleared of a lot what is it mean by rubble waste or rough fragments of stone brick or okay the we can say the rough okay what is there the week the that week the rubble that used to be a house was being cleared of the lot whatever the damage whatever the uh, rubbish was there they have cleared everything even though we had rented an apartment nearby i would go for to watch them clear away the the bris you know all the all the things that they used to uh clear that okay and hoping that my cat was somewhere to be found she was gone i kept thinking about her that was vulnerable little kitten in the early morning when i would disturb her and get out of bed she would tag along after me climb up my robe and crawl into my pocket to fall asleep i was missing her terribly terribly all the things what that cat used to do with him everything he is missing that it always seemed that bad news spread quickly and in my case it was no different you know the good things spread very slowly but the bad things spreads everywhere like air it reaches within second then to different everyone in high school including the teachers was aware of my plight situation plight means situation i was embarrassed as if somehow i were responsible what a way to start off a new school this was not the kind of attention i was looking for first of all he was really feeling very lonely in that school and in that the top of that the addition is he is not having the school dress and all like a zombie situation and he felt very very awkward double table awkward in that situation the next day at school people were acting even more strange than unusual usual than usual i was getting ready for gym class at my locker people were my milling around me milling surrounding you know roaming milling around me asking me to hurry up i thought it strange but in the in the light of the past few weeks nothing would surprise me 
it almost seemed that they were trying to show me into the gym and then i saw why there was a big table set up with all kinds of stuff on it just for me because all the schoolmates they when they understood his situation the destruction of his all the things house so they gave a help in that all the school dress uniform notebooks bag everything they had kept for the teenager so just for me they had taken up a collection and brought me school supplies notebooks all kinds of different clothes jeans tops sweat suits it was like a christmas you know in the christmas the people like diwali how we uh, purchase all the things the same thing they purchase in christmas so or uh, as if he got all the things like in the christmas how they he used to get the same thing he got here when he saw all the things for him he felt very happy and good for that christmas i was overcome by emotion people who had never spoken to me before were coming up to me to introduce themselves i got all kinds of invitation to their houses all the friend circle they called him ki you come to my home their genuine uh, outpouring of concern really touched me he liked their love their concern about towards him in that instant i finally really breathe a sigh of relief and thought for me thought the first time that things were going to be okay when they loved him then they gave him that time yeah, he he got a sigh oh now everything is going to be okay no need to worry feel little bit good i made friends that day a month later i was at my house watching them rebuild it he always used to visit there so he went after the school he went there and there what he got see here but this time it was different i wasn't alone i was with two of my new friends from school it took a fire for me to stop focusing on my feelings of insecurity and open up to all the wonderful people around me now i was sitting there watching my house being rebuilt when i realized my life was doing the same thing while we sat there on the crab planning by new bedroom i heard someone walked up when he was seeing that rebuilding house he was sitting there somebody is coming to him he heard that walk up to me from behind and say does this belong to you when i turn around to see who it was i couldn't believe my eyes a woman was standing there holding my cat i leapt you know he felt like anything so he leapt there you know he felt very very good moving quickly leapt means moving quickly and suddenly i leapt up and grabbed her very quickly he went and took that uh, cat from her arms hand and grabbed her out of the woman's arm i held her i held her close to me and cried into that beautiful orange fur she purred happily she too was very happy the cat was also very happy my friends were hugging me hugging the cat and jumping around he was not alone there he had come along with his friend circle when he saw that so the friend circle and the cat everything was there apparently my cat had been so freaked by the by the fire that she ran over a mile away her collar you know the collar neck had a phone number on it but our phones had been destroyed and disconnected this wonderful woman took her in and worked hard to find out who scat it was somehow she knew this cat was loved and sorely missed that strange woman that gave her gave him his 
cat as I sat there with my friends and my cat curled up in my lap all the overwhelming overwhelming feelings of loss and tra tragedy seemed to diminish diminish i felt gratitude i felt gratitude what is my gratitude being thankful gratitude thankful for my life my new friends the kindness of a stranger and that a loud purr of my beloved cat yes my cat was back and so was i what the narrator is saying see what is the narrator zan gaudi gaudio so what is saying a cat was back and so was i so in all the critical condition he has not given up he overcome that he faced the challenges and after that he got his whole how the previous life was there the same life he got see here dear children here it is the last sentence is written that my cat was back and so i was i repeat my cat was back and so i was what is the meaning of this okay what is the meaning of this what is what is the meaning of my cat was back and so was i my cat was back and so was i means that the author is back to normal after finding his cat no the author had not gone anywhere is that the had author gone anywhere no why does he say that he is also back no the author had not gone any where why he said that because my cat was back so means that the author is back to the normal after finding his cat i hope you understood this lesson very clearly thank you and have a nice day